Now with this next movie, we are entering a whole other ballpark, a whole different world of Mystery Science Theater and talking about a movie from the recent revival. That's right, Mystery Science Theater, if you didn't know it, is back on Netflix and it is tremendous. I really love it. It's now hosted by a guy named Jonah Ray. Uh, Joel, the creator of Mystery Science Theater, is, is very active behind the scenes, but Jonah's the new host. You also have a terrific head writer in, uh, in, the, in, in the form of Elliot Kalin, who had previously been the head writer at The Daily Show. And so I, I honestly feel like this new revival is firing on all cylinders. And one of the movies they tackle in this revival is At the Earth's Core. This is a, this is a 70s British film. This is one of a series of movies adapting Edgar Rice Burroughs novels, but lesser Edgar Rice Burroughs novels. If you don't know Burroughs, he invented Tarzan um, and is also known for the somewhat less popular John Carter of Mars character that made it, was made into a Disney movie that a lot of people didn't like, but that I like quite a bit. Well, in the 70s, they made a, a, few, a fair few British movies, most of them oddly starring Doug McClure. This one features Dougie uh, in a Victorian drilling machine, drilling to, that's right, the Earth's core, uh, along with Peter Cushing, the staple of Hammer horror movies, and of course he played Grand Moff Tarkin in Star Wars. Uh, the cast is rounded out, in this case, by the gorgeous Carolyn Monroe, who's always a, an exciting screen presence. Um, you know, I think as a really solid actress who appears in a lot of these genre pictures. As, as far as the movie goes, it's, it's fairly entertaining. It's certainly watchable, um, fairly predictable. It, it involves a lot of running around the Earth's core and you know, fighting cavemen and then these big lizard things that somehow control the Earth's core. It's not great, but it is certainly watchable with or without Mystery Science Theater, which is why I've got to give it two stars.